Tiafimo Lopez, Sandor Martin. Yeah, it's a good fight. Um, Lopez got to prove himself. He was supposed to be fighting Pedraza. Mm -hmm. He slid another southpaw in there with him, but it's a different southpaw. It's a more patient southpaw. Um, a little bit slicker. Mm -hmm. um, you know what's crazy? After checking this kid out, uh, Sandor Martin, he really don't do nothing great. He just mm -hmm. do a little bit of everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? He box you, he'll fight you, but he not initiating the fight. Um, he's slick, but he not the slickest. Um, you know what I mean? I see him sometimes he roll out shots, he drop his hands, but at the same time he'll touch you with a body shot on the way out, or he'll wipe you with a hook, or you know what I mean? And he got a nice little jittery movement to him where, you know what I mean? Tia Fimo gonna have to really just let his shots go. He can't try to go in there and look for the perfect shot with a guy like this. And he's used to going, going the rounds. He's never been stopped um, with his two losses. But with his 40 wins, he went the distance most times. He only got 13 knockouts. So Tiafimo got to be patient. But what I would say is uh, work the body a little more. Work the body a little more and use that left hook. You know what I mean? Don't go just keep looking for the right hand all night. Now, we've seen situations where Tio really didn't get up for a fight and it cost him. Yeah. Sandor Martin has already experienced that with Mikey Garcia. Yeah. He took out Mikey. Could, this, like, could we see a replay of that? Yeah, this this could happen. See, a guy like this, he's never been in there with too many, too many big names, but he's been in there enough time that he's comfortable. Um, like I said, forty wins is a lot of fights, man. You know what I mean? And he's he's been in there with enough times where nobody would kind of rattle him. You know what I'm saying? He's seen a lot. So, Tia Fimo had to really be sharp tonight. He got to be, got to, he kind of got to give me the same shit he was giving me for Lomachenko. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need good fire from a good distance. You know what I mean, don't. Don't overshoot your shots because this guy can make you look look bad. Even if you don't knock him out, make you look bad. And even if you do knock him out, he gonna make you look bad before you do it. Um, so don't go out there looking for nothing specific. Set it up. Um, but this is a great matchup. I like this kid. And I like that they're giving this kid another shot. This guy, Martin. You know what I mean? If you had to lay money on the world, who you going with? Um, honestly, watching the guy and, and knowing Tia Fimo, I say I, I bet on the draw. I put my money on the draw. Okay. Okay. Shit. I know it's a gambler out there. Like, okay, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know the draw is always good money. Plus two thousand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>